Okay, so first portion of this, we're going to kind of see the offense in a few half court sets. Talk a few things about spacing, and then um, then we'll see uh, some defensive stuff. All right, the same deal. A lot of it about spacing. All right, so right here, the first thing is that we got is we don't have an action for this right here with Josh you in the middle. We did it a few times. Um, and and look, it's not like I have a problem with it. I'm just going to tell you why what I want you to do is better. If you're over here, whether it's to the left or to the right, it doesn't matter. But free throw line extended, what that allows you to do is to avoid a trap from three different ways out of the two, three defense. They can only get you on one side. So right here in the middle, they, they've got several ways to trap. Now you're tall and you can kick the ball out, but it, it messes up our spacing. And at the same time, the, the low post player is supposed to be playing opposite of the high post player. So if you're on the left side, he's on the right, so that, that way he can draw attention from the left. Well, where is he supposed to go? He can't stand in the middle with you right away, right? He's got to pick a side to go to. If you don't know what side he's on because you're not on a selected side, you would. You, there's a there's an offensive player who you don't know where he's at, supposed to be at on the court. So if you were to get the ball and try to turn and go this way here, put the ball into your right hand and try to take the basket to take the ball to your right. You've got an offensive player standing right there and a defensive player. So it messes up the space of the court in the low post. And then at the same time right here, well, what if we want to run Iverson, right? What if we want to, we can't run that action going across. Now, Alex, if he is right here, what you want to do is you want to bring your right foot down closer to his left foot. You got to get off of that line with him, okay? It's going to it's going to give you a better opportunity at a shot and a, a more open shot if you're not on the line with him right there. So we took a three right here. We didn't get it. Wasn't a bad shot. And like I said, it's not like I, it's not, I don't hate it, Josh. It's not like I hate it. But I'm just saying why it is that we'll kind of have a little bit better room to operate if you commit to one side or the other, okay? Or if you are up at the top of the post like that, we, we got to have something. Forward. All right, so now right here, just didn't get back on transition defense. So Josh Cooper, just a reminder for you that remember you're spending most of your time in the fall league on the wing, right? So you got to change a few things about the way you play. You got to get out there to that outside so he doesn't get that shot. It's all right, it happens. And you know when we had to just remember to talk, communicate. I feel like Josh Schultz was trying to point it out to you, so. I think we're doing something and we'll get more comfortable as we play more games all right again so we're up here in that high post position right tyson the same thing you know that i said to alex applies to you you want to be below him so we can get that second pass you got to the free throw line right here but you know it's just so many people around you and honestly the only reason you got to the free throw line is because this is terrible defense all you have to do is put his hands up and your shot's completely affected. If you make it, great. But, I mean, the truth of the matter is, is he tried so hard to get the block, he fouled you. Right? And his, his boy tells him, too, just put your hands up. That's it. Right? You were taking a crazy, leaner, tough shot. All right, so right here, we're looking at the Iverson action. This looks great. We got a screen set, good brush. All right, now, he's quick. He jumps right back on it. And good job, Alex, coming up with the dribble handoff. We just got to uh, remember, we do that dribble handoff and we want to attack the basket right away. You do it so you can get the ball like a running back and go right downhill, which we got a great take right there to the bucket. Let's see that one more time. And that's, a, that's one, of the, one of the ways it is you guys can adjust coming out of that Iverson action, right? And it's just playing basketball. We never ran this in practice. It just happened. <clears throat> Good take. Okay.
okay? It's just a good shot. But again, here we are at that line. Look at the top. Just don't want to be right there. All right, let's scoot over a bit. And Cooper, remember, if he's over here, get to the other side. Good shot, though. Okay, we already saw this one. I like the aggressive takes. We had a few of them. A lot of things didn't work out. We had some shots rim in and out. No big deal. These things happen. All right, so right here on this good defensive position, we just want to make sure that we get our numbers to his numbers. We don't want to swipe too much at the ball. He's going to travel first, but you notice when you swipe right here, you're going to hit him, and the ref could call that foul. All right? So... You want to get your see where your feet are get outside so he can't go anywhere with the ball that's it your pinky toe should be touching josh's big toe make sure you clip your toenails and get nice and close right there he's got nowhere to go passing lanes cut off he's probably gonna travel we keep we if both of you guys got two hands up and he's has nothing to see but the jersey numbers it's a great position he traveled though but I'm just telling you in ways where it might not work out. All right, another good shot didn't go in. So right here, this is why I kept this one. So Cam, we want to make sure that we start getting back on defense quick because he's out right away. I mean, this is a perfect offensive play. As soon as that shot goes up, he's getting behind y'all. Josh is watching his shot. And then now he's thinking about stopping the ball. Cam, you went for the steal back here. But in going for the steal, what happens is now you're behind the ball. So now instead of Josh thinking about this man diving down here, he's looking up to try to stop the ball so we don't get the easy layup. But unfortunately, look at where Josh is because you're behind the ball. The ball is right there underneath Tyson's armpit, if you see it, and it's going up to him. Even though you can catch up with that man in a foot race with the ball, once the ball comes out of his hands, we're beat. And sure enough, good shot. So we're not gonna get a lot of turnovers like that. Don't worry about it. We just gotta get back to the next possession and just keep playing defense. I know you're trying to play hard though. Just conserve your energy. Alex, you got fouled. <sighs> they just did call it, no big deal. All right, but right here though, we wanna make sure that once that ball goes up in the air, that's for everybody. All right, he's up in his shot motion. Alex, you're right here. The next thing you gotta be thinking, box out. And the reason why is because their backs are to the play. So you gotta run up to his hip. You don't run up to him. It's just an easy rebound, right? But that's for everyone. You want to dive down there into the paint, get his hip out of the way. It's a good take. Another one didn't work out. All right, so now, you know, after we, we got to think about what are we doing with our screens. Um, we got to roll off of this or something. I mean, Tyson doesn't even really use it. So then it's just, it's just, it's just clogged up. Then the ball goes down into the corner, right? So we don't want to go baseline into a trap, got away with travel, a double dribble looks like. Just a rough play. And then we got a trap right here in the corner. Okay, so now on defense, we want to make sure that we funnel things to the middle, right? Up to the help. Your foot needs to be outside of his so that you cut off the baseline and turn your hips a bit. And yeah, and really in this case, you want to be contesting with your right hand, right? Right hand. If he's a right-handed shooter, you want your right hand going to his right hand so you can go through a shot. 
right now the other part let's just drop down a little bit sooner and Josh good job being right here in the middle this is very important in this defense right we we're not going to get penalized for being in the paint right now so you want to make sure it is that we drop down and we get down to the middle because we've cut off the second pass if somebody scores on us make them work for it i mean we know we're going to play good teams and they're going to score but they should be able they should have to do it in four five six seven passes you know not just um because you know we aren't cutting off the lanes like we need to now how we got beat right here is that exactly what josh did cameron forgot to do so cameron stayed up at the top when the ball wasn't on his side cameron what you got to do is you got to drop down to the middle right there at the free throw line and because he doesn't, the action behind him goes right behind him. There's your bucket right there, right? Just a half a step late just because of positioning. And then we also got to make sure that we call it out, communicate, middle, middle, middle. Now, Josh, way too high up here, right? And then not only are you too high, your body's too tight, you know? You got to get your arms out. But remember, we're not trapping up in the corner on the wings. He's going to funnel him. Josh is going to funnel him down to you, Josh, in the paint in the middle. You're way too high up. We got to pull back down here some more. You see where Kyle's at? That's where you should be at. And then not in a good position to contest. And again, use your right hand for that one, right? Right hand to right hand, not left. Okay, now right here, that's where the trap is. Okay, right there is where the trap is. So remember what I was saying when I was talking about he needs to see jersey numbers. He should see nothing but your jersey and Josh's jersey. And we just got burnt. Just good ball movement. But right there is where we want that trap to be. And then we cut off that baseline. And if we trap properly, Josh, you get, let me make sure I'm out of the way. Josh, you get your foot outside of his so the baseline is cut off. And then Josh Cooper shows him the jersey numbers and he cuts off that second pass. Pretty good position to otherwise. This is a team that plays well, they know each other. All right, so this is really good. Iverson action too, just taking the first shot that I think this is, yeah, it's like the first play of the game almost. I really thought it was going in. It was a great shot. But that's what you want it to look like on that first one, right? Just get it up there. Just going to move it forward a little bit. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just a little bit late on that one. I remember this. So this is really good defense, Alex. And you cut the baseline off. And that's why you want to cut the baseline off because then here comes the help. Only problem is it's just a little bit late, right? And we jump, don't jump so much. Chest up, chest up, two hands up. It's enough just to be tall, right? You just wanna get there a little bit sooner. Free throws are very valuable. Please shoot some free throws. Okay, Cam, don't jump quite so much. Keep your feet right up here at the top. Remember, we can't play defense in midair. So you wanna keep that energy, but use it. Shift your hips right open close open close turn your hips so that that way you're constantly cutting off passing angles not so much a hippity hop good block way to cut it off all right good yeah pretty good possession now right here this is one of the things that'll be trickier. You gotta know when not to jump. You don't need to be out here. Alex isn't quite there. But once you do get out here, just keep your feet, don't jump. Don't jump. But good job recovering, way to cut him off. Ended up at the free throw line. All right, I think this is the last sequence. Uh, yeah, that was just kind of a good take, whatever. Okay, last thing. All right, Kyle, this is the only clip of it I'm going to show. But use that strength 
But make sure that before you try to go up with your shot,